Welcome back into the shop. It is great to have you here. Now it's been a while and I want to say thank you for your patience. I've had a lot going on and I've been working hard on the Argosy. So we got a lot of content coming and a lot happening in this video. We're going to be putting up walls, cleaning the walls, painting the walls, putting in the flooring, priming the exterior, and mounting solar all in this video. So a lot to cover. Let's just jump right in. The beginning of this video, you're about to witness a man who is so determined to do a two-person job by himself. And it doesn't go well at all. Have issues with the rivet gun and hanging aluminum walls in an airstream. If you're watching this and you're going to remodel your airstream, get some help to put up the interior walls. Don't try to be like me. Let's just jump in and get started. two walls are in that wasn't easy um I, I found that if you clip these down these little window levers it holds it in place so uh a little tip i want to mention as i cut let's go over to this side as i cut these out and i didn't do a very good job but i learned something in the last video when i cut out the roof fence i cut them square a lot of people commented and said you don't want to do that with aluminum it creates a weak point kind of makes sense so i learned something this is just drilled a little round there. Didn't, like I said, not super clean, but it's not square. A big thanks to those who comment, very kindly comment, suggesting and helping. Some of you guys aren't so nice. Um, but a thanks to those who, uh, I learned something. I learned something from you, and I appreciate that. I always like learning things new, uh, and this process is something that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring out as I go. So it's very much appreciated to get help. can't tell pretty frustrated not a good day on the trailer I've worked two hours I've yet to finish this panel a rivet gun it's not working very well so there's really no one's fault but my own because the bottom of the rivet gun has different size tips literally just figured this out so after two hours I brought a wrench in here there it is Oh, after two hours of failing miserably, found out why. You can see these tips right there. Oh, not sure which one of these I need. It took an immense amount of frustration, but I did learn something. Gotta add to the fact that it's gotta be at least 100 degrees in here right now. At least freaking hot in Texas right now. All right, let's give that a shot. I really hope this works. Oh yeah. rivet if it's gonna get in focus pretty ugly looking very obvious something's wrong there 
This is with the new tip. That is how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be all caved in and bent up. So, I'm gonna drill them all out. Put it in. So close. I'm just doing enough Clecos. Real quick, I want to stop and jump in. For those of you who have no idea what Clecos are, this is a Clecos. This is basically a clamp. You put it in a special wrench designed for it. You press down. It extends a spring out, a little, I don't know what you call it, a little clip that fits in your hole. You let it go, and it pulls it tight, and it holds the two panels together. If you're going to do any riveting, you need these. If you're going to work on Airstreams and rivet on Airstreams, you need these. And you need a lot of them. And um, I didn't have enough. Should have ordered more. If only I had another person freaking hold this so I could go get some more Clecos or a clamp or anything. That one state. It's kind of how you feel when you were a kid. I don't know if you guys played Zelda and you forgot to save and you worked for an hour and you lost it all. That's what just happened to me. Or your brother comes in and pulls the power cord, hits the power button. That's what just happened here. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get this. It's that last hole right over there. I mean, it will not go in. And if you lose it, it just it's just going. Deep breath. Let's try a third time.
Buck Lights, straight from eTrailer.com. eTrailer.com, if you don't know, is sponsoring this entire build. They're pretty awesome, and I very much appreciate them. Let's drill some holes. I've got, well, I've got to transfer over. I've got to transfer my spot, drill my hole, pull my wires through. Yeah, let's do this. Laser, 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 laser. Laser? Laser? Where's my laser? It's not in the case. Okay, so that was tough. Did not go well. Uh, eventually, my dad came back in town and helped me with the other side, which I completely failed. I gave up on that side. We're just going to move past that. The next thing we had to do is uh, I had to clean the walls. So I cleaned them with simple green. They were real dirty, as you could tell in the video. And then I used a Kills Adhesion Primer, which I will link in the description to prime the vinyl walls because these walls have a vinyl cover over the aluminum. Um, and that can be tricky to paint. So that Kills primer was a ticket uh, for getting the primer to stick. And then on top of that, I just used a bare paint that I got from the big box store. Next step is to uh, put in the flooring. So first I want to say a big thank you to um, a man at Lowe's at the Rim in San Antonio. I wish I could remember your name. Excellent cu customer service. He sold me the flooring uh, for this Airstream. Just an all around nice guy. Uh, he put up with my crazy family at the store and helped me pick out floor. What we picked out was a vinyl floor. I'm not gonna get all fancy and put in a solid wood floor as much as I'd love to do that because I am a woodworker and I love wood. I can't do that because my kids will destroy it. They absolutely will. This is gonna get used hard. Vinyl is waterproof, easily cleaned, simple. That's what I used. We're gonna jump into that footage now, throw down the flooring, and then work on mounting solar. Okay, underlayment is in. That was fairly easy, it took pretty quick. It's been a long time. It's a bright light over there, sorry. It's been a long time since I have laid flooring, but I'm just gonna start against this wall, move my way that way. The first row, I suppose I'll cut the tab off right there and just go for it. Johnny, what do you think, bud? You like your camper? Yeah. Jay's picking his nose. <laughs> Did you just eat that booger? That's yucky, bud. Okay. Yeah, basically my dad's gonna do all the work today. No, we're gonna divide and conquer. I'm gonna work on the bed cabinet because I have to have that built before Nate gets here because that's where all the electrical electrical stuff goes. So you still have to do 
all that, or do you leave that? You leave it, you won't see it. No. It's really hard to get it against the wall. I start, last night I worked probably 45 minutes trying to do that, and I was like, this is a waste of my time. Alright, last piece, and it's done. Like a jigsaw puzzle here. Shoo oh yeah, it's done. I'm glad this is over. Don't miss any bit of that. Okay, so with the flooring installed, now we can move on. I have to prime the exterior. Now, I didn't get a lot of footage of this um, because, here, well, here's what the plan was. For, for one, since Nate's coming in town for the next video and he wants to hook up all the solar, I wanted to get the solar panels mounted so they would be up there. I didn't want to mount them without at least priming. So my original plan was just to prime the top of the trailer. I uh, mixed up a full gallon of a two-part epoxy from Total Boat Primer, um, a really solid product, which I will link in the description, with the intentions that that would cover the top. Well, it, I mean, it covered the top with three, with probably seven-eighths of a gallon still left. So at that point, I uh, just had to scramble and um, try to paint as much as I could because it's an expensive primer, and once you mix it, you got to use it. The tough thing about the aluminum is you need to sand it a little bit before you paint it because it corrodes in, it corrodes pretty quickly. Uh, it's just how aluminum is. So luckily my dad was there and he was kind of keeping in front of me with the orbital sanding, getting any last minute paint or anything off, getting a nice clean surface and then cleaning it really well and then I was just rolling the primer kind of coming behind him. The gallon did almost all of the trailer. So I wasn't planning on priming the whole trailer but it just worked out. And let me tell you, I was a little bit nervous about this primer, uh, especially doing the whole trailer if it didn't work because I was afraid it wouldn't adhere well. You know, I just got a lot of people tell a lot of people telling me that painting aluminum is tough, and I had no issues. That stuff set up as hard as a rock. I can't scrape it off, um, and I'm gonna put on another coat, probably maybe even three coats, um, to just help waterproof it. At least three coats on the top, two coats on the side. Uh, a solid, solid product. Thanks to Total Boat. I will link that in the description as well. Moving on from that, so now that we have it primed, I want to go ahead and mount the solar. These solar panels are coming from New Power. Uh, I've got eight 100 watt panels, rigid panels. These panels fit my roof perfect, the width that I needed. Um, so they were right what I needed. And those as well are linked in the description. You can go check out New Power. Now, New Power does make uh, really cool brackets, but on a curved roof, it gets tricky. So this actually solution with the aluminum T-Track, I think, uh, worked really well. Let's jump in and let me show you how that works. Uh, and you can see how I managed to mount these panels. Okay, so yesterday I started to rivet on. I thought I had a great plan to rivet on all this aluminum track for the solar. Started drilling out these holes and just realized, I mean, I was putting one, two, I was putting four pop rivets in per rail. So I don't, I can't do the math, but that's like almost 50 holes in the roof. I just can't do it. That's crazy. That's not very smart. And after doing the first one, I was like, this is a bad way to do this. Plus pop rivets are not really that weather tight. I was putting a little bit of epoxy over them, but scratch that idea. I ended up getting with the beauty of Amazon. I ordered this yesterday, VHB tape. I'm just going to tape them up there and then I'm going to take some of the total boats um, so I think that's how you pronounce it. Thick so flex, flexible epo epoxy. I'm having a hard time talking. So this will, I'll basically just run around all of them with this. This will help grab onto it and hold it in place with this. I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, and that way I'm not putting any holes in the roof. It is a little bit more permanent than rivets, but I would rather make it a little bit more permanent than um, have to drill a bunch of holes in the roof. So 
I've got a whole bunch of this. I'm basically just going to go ahead and pre-cut it, put it on the tracks, and then I'll go up and uh, mark my chalk line and lay the tracks down. It's actually going to be a lot quicker too. So um, I think this is a win-win. Should, should work. So from what I've read, the best thing you can do is prep properly for this tape, which means I'm going to sand a little bit and then clean it with acetone. Get any dirt and grease. Got all the tracks up. Um, you can see here the back, so we're in line here, two panels. I stuck these panels up tight in the front, and then where the AC unit's gonna go right here, I had to give myself a little bit more room, so I had to kick them over. A little unfortunate, because they're gonna hang off the side a little further, but really, that's the only option I had. So, uh, that's it. I mean, I basically, you can see the bolts are in the tracks. Um, I'll put the clips on, and the solar panels will go on real quick now. And check this out right here I'm pulling on that and it's just pulling the whole roof up so I feel good about this I think with the epoxy around the edges there's no way these are coming off okay following day got a little time in this afternoon to try to get these panels up shouldn't take long I think it'll go fairly quick I've got um, one panel here I'm gonna go ahead and climb up start on this end work my way down let me show you so I've got these clips that I these fancy clips that I made in the shop Basically, these are temporary. Obviously, I'm not going to hold the panels up with these. The actual metal ones that are designed for the panels are going to be here tomorrow. So I can go ahead and put it up with these, have them all in place, because Nate's going to get here today. We're going to start working tomorrow. And then when those brackets come in tomorrow, I'll just crawl up there and switch them out one at a time. Let's go up here and give it a shot. Whoa, cool lizard. Hey, buddy. I don't think I'd go that way. Bracket, plywood. Check to make sure that's about in line. Gonna need that. Okay, in the middle here, we don't need the riser block. We just use one little chunk of plywood. Rock solid, my friends. Okay, solar is mounted. 
kind of temporarily mounted. I gotta get the brackets on, obviously. And that took me about 20, 30 minutes to get all these on here. So, I mean, I don't wanna pat myself on the back, but this was turning out to be a pretty good idea. We'll see where we're at next year when we're cruising down the road in this thing. Hopefully things aren't flying off, but I can reach down right here and grab and give it a good tug and nothing's coming off. So I think that tape holds pretty good. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So much has happened on this trailer and it's so exciting because the last five months have really been a grind to get through to this point where I'm actually putting it back together. I've actually started on the furniture, on the bed. Um, so I'm actually doing woodworking, which it, that's exciting for me. Nate will be in town. We're gonna be hooking up Battleborn batteries and converter, inverter, solar, all that complicated electrical stuff. He's gonna come help me. That video is coming next, so stay tuned for that. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen a sneak peek to that in my story. So if you don't follow me, you should head over right now, follow. You'll see a little bit of behind the scenes going on over here. Mayor, what is it, bud? Best guard dog ever. I just wanna say thanks to you guys for tuning in. I wanna say thanks to New Power for providing the solar. Don't forget you get 5% off. Thanks to E-Trailer for helping out with a lot of the interior supplies. But the biggest thanks goes to you guys. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Stay tuned, we got a lot of exciting content coming. I'll see you next time.